Quite recently, you might have seen a film floating around on the internet, produced by the University of Bath, on the Leidenfrost effect. So, what exactly is the Leidenfrost effect? The Leidenfrost effect is what happens when you put um, a drop of water on a very hot surface. Normally, if you put water on a hot surface, it bubbles and boils. Yeah. And the hotter the surface is, the faster it will boil. But as you make the surface hotter and hotter, then the rate at which the water boils suddenly drops. And that's right. because... The, <laughs> uh, 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 shall I demonstrate? Do, yeah. So, so here I have a, a room temperature piece of metal. Here we have a very hot, hot plate. If I put the piece of metal on the hot plate, the, hot, the piece of metal starts to heat up. And if I put the droplet of water on it, you it can does see what you expect. That it, yeah. just, it just boils. boils, and the hotter it gets, the faster it will boil. But when the surface is hot enough, you can start to see it happening mm. now. It's sort of punching up. Yeah, that's right. The water beads up, but if the surface is very, very hot, the droplet forms. The water evaporates from the bottom, and so you have a con constant ah. flow of steam from underneath the droplet. So it sort of levitates away from that, the hot that's plate. That's right, that's right, that's right. And that creates an insulating layer of, of steam, basically thermally insulating the droplet from the hot surface beneath. So the boiling rate of the droplet goes way down and the droplet lasts for much longer. That's right, so right. weird. What we saw on your video mm -hmm. was that you can direct the way the droplets hover. That's seemingly. right, that's right. So I seem to remember droplets going uphill, water going uphill somehow? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so what's going on there then? So you've got this sort of vapour coming off it. That's right, yeah. Like you say, the vapour's flowing out from beneath the droplet. And what the ratchet does, what the sawtooth pattern on the surface mm. does, is to guide that flow of steam. So if, for example, you imagine the teeth going down towards you, and you, you imagine the Leiden Frost droplet sitting on top of yeah. this, then the steam coming out is going to want to escape going through the path of mm. least resistance. Yeah. The steam flows down the teeth and then out and, and inwards like right, this. Okay. So underneath the droplet, there's a constant flow of steam in the forward mm. direction, right. and the droplet is sitting on it. And so it's, it, it's like if you have a balloon floating on the river and the river's flowing, then, yeah. the, then the balloon's dragged along with it. Nice. So similarly here, the steam is flowing forwards and the droplet is being pulled forwards. And you put it to good use in a maze, which you've kindly brought along with you. Um, so I reckon we have a little bit of a play around with that one, see if we can replicate it. So Kay, your camera got some great shots in black and white, but I reckon we can have a little play around with some coloured droplets. For more amazing science, don't forget to subscribe to Earth Unplugged and also to check out Kay's video, it'll be in the links in the description. See you next time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be looking at some mesmerising physics, droplets bouncing. So our spinny wheel of colour here is going to be demonstrating to us two forces. That's going to be centrifugal, which is going to be the paint flying out, and so Peter, which is going to be a paint trying to cling to the disc itself. <laughs>